uh, welcome to the video. Uh, so uh, in this in this video, I will just predict um, innovation performance using negative binomial model. So first, let's just import everything we need. Uh, so and I have database. I have already saved it. So let me just like I take my database and read my database. And this is like unique database which I constructed uh, uh, constructed using uh, innovation performance and other factors which determine. Uh, innovation performance. So every firm has identifiers uh, and every firm has 10 firm year observations. Uh, so what we do next, uh, I just want to uh, just a little bit uh, check my uh, dependent variable, which has like a uh, number of patterns. Uh, so I just want to like clean up and trim the like uh, uh, extreme 5% uh, of all observations. That's why I use cron tile um, function and I just say like 0 .0 0 0.95 and to check what is um, um, what is the, like where the last like, extreme 5% uh, starts. So it starts like after 82. So what I do, I just keep uh, the values. Uh, value smaller than 83 uh, so this is just like my condition uh, and I just say keep if it's like small smaller than 83 and I give it to my database and new database has like 90% uh, of all observations and I say this um, then I continue so what I do I will here I will just like split my database into train and, and, and test set so here I use like mass function what mass function does mass function is from a uh, numpy it just uh, Random uh, randomly uh, chooses uh, observations and gives all observation uh, some observations to train set and others to uh, test sets so or just like a length uh, DP uh, and it just takes uh, in my in my case I want to uh, allocate eighty percent of my obs all observations to my train set so I just say I choose randomly eighty percent of of all uh, observations uh, then I use I create a uh, train database uh, which is like uh, which takes a mask function so it means it will uh, it will be it will uh, just uh, consist of 80 percent of all observations and then I create test set and test set is 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 the rest so what I do and here I just use like tilde uh, mask which is the rest uh, of uh, rest of uh, all observations uh, and then yeah, if you just like we can just uh, here uh, I, I run and we can just check the shape uh, of uh, train set and yeah, of course the shape uh, of the test set. So it's it's fine. Uh, I have twenty percent in the test set. I took twenty percent of observations in the test set and and eighty percent of, of uh, observations in the train set. So here I have expression, expression, like first uh, first variable as my uh, dependent variable. So it's just number of uh, observation, uh, number of pattern counts and others are independent variables. So what uh, variables determine or what factors determine uh, innovation performance? So I have already like wrote it here and then I just like save it uh, to this expression function uh, variable and then I create uh, my uh, train and test variables. So what I do, I just say egg train. Uh, I split uh, my train set into egg train extreme. So like this, and then I use matrices, uh, d matrices function, and then uh, I use expression, I, which I already saved. Uh, database is train, dv data frame train. And I also have to use the return type. So in my case, return type will be data frame, right? Data frame. Frame. It should work. Uh, ah, yeah. This is sorry. This is data. This is this works. Uh, and the same for the test. I just changed this to to test. Test and yeah, here the test, right? So I already have like uh, eager uh, train, X train, eager test, and X test. 
Uh, so next I can already uh, run my model and I just check um, which factors are significant. So for this, uh, I just take, I use uh, SM, which is I already uh, imported. So it's just starts model uh, as SM, uh, as SM here, right? uh, as SM. So, and then I have already uh, imported GLM. GLM uh, means general linear models. Uh, so it just takes like uh, three Im uh, inputs. First is like the Y, dependent variable of the train set, uh, independent variable variables uh, of my train set, X train. And then I need a like, family uh, function. Uh, family function here, fa takes a negative binomial. I use negative binomial because uh, because my um, dependent variable is a, count, uh, is, a, is a count variable, and I have uh, over dispersion, uh, so therefore I cannot use a Poisson, uh, Poisson uh, model. So it also has alpha, uh, alpha, alpha. I specify alpha is equal to one, and then I fit the model. And I just give a name to this model. I just say NB, uh, NB training results, right? So I just take this. I print this results next. Uh, so print this, and I just say summary. And I print results, and we have results. This is my model, and all this. These are year uh, and industry dummies, and these are uh, main independent variables. And we just see they are all uh, except two, so firm age and uh, number of partners. They are all uh, significant. So I just like want to check. Uh, uh, the accuracy of the model. What I do, I just take uh, again this this result, and I use get prediction function. Uh, uh, get prediction function gives uh, variables uh, to a model, uh, and and gets uh, predicted x. So uh, pr prediction, I say x train. I just give a the variables of a train set, uh, and I save results to MB uh, prediction train set, right? So this will give me uh, predictions, and then next uh, I just take this this train and and some uh, I will I want to get a summary, so I just write summary frame, right? And give results to summer frame train. Summer frame train. Yeah. Summary frame train and B. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, so next, uh, I will just print this result. Now let's check. Yes, I have results, and this min uh, is predicted of agrix, predicted values of the train set. Uh, so I will just like next uh, pull out this this min. How I do this? I just say this min, right? Uh, and I save it to predicted uh, counts train. So just let's check it. Yes, uh, 570 uh, predictions. And I will also have a train, so which is actual counts. So and then I can I can easily find I can easily find our all, all score. Uh, for for my different train set, let's say uh, this is our uh, our score score. So here input uh, it has two inputs. So one is like actual numbers of a train set train y, 
and predicted uh, counts, predicted values of a rig. So I just check it, uh, which is 55 percent which is okay. So I have to do the same thing for my test set, and which is more important than a training set because uh, the model hasn't seen test set, like test values yet. So I just change this train to test. Everything the rest is the same. Test. Uh, here, same test. And here, test. And results, test. Right? Perfect. So what I do next, I will just like to pull, uh, pull out the mean values and give results, save results to predicted, uh, predicted counts. Right? And yeah, so this is only mean, right? So we can easily see it. Uh, and then, uh, let me first check our score, same I did here uh, for uh, for my test set. So let's check it. Uh, so here I have predicted counts, which comes here, predicted, co predicted counts of my uh, test set. And then here I have a Greek test, right? So which is 44, 45 person, which is okay. So it's not perfect, but uh, it's okay. I just want next uh, to plot uh, predicted values of a test set. Uh, again, the versus like actual counts of my test set. What I do, I just create a figure in Matplotlib. Uh, so which is figure uh, plt. Figure, fig size, and size is more, let's say 12, maybe 8, that's good. And then I just say fig sub title, um, predicted, let's say predicted, uh, so I have caught, caught here, predicted versus actual uh, patent. Counts, so I have uh, all it is, and then I just plot. And first plot is predicted uh, counts, like predicted uh, pattern counts. Uh, so again, I same PLT in Matplotlib uh, PLT plot. So I just say I give X test. Uh, but one thing I will just say index because um, this is already high dimensional and my plot will be two dimensional. So, but here, if I just say x test, it will just say take uh, index of each x of each observation and will show uh, value, the count of, of that index, and we compare it to uh, actual values, actual counts of that index. So, here I say. Uh, predicted counts, right? Predicted counts and color is green, uh, and lab label uh, label as uh, predicted counts, right? So I do the same, almost the same thing for actual counts, and here I just say uh, actual counts, and here same test but here I will have uh, actual counts which is in my case a Greek test I change this to red so this plot will be in red and here I just say actual counts right uh, so I will have legend uh, plt legend uh, handles uh, predicted versus actual and then pull out uh, plt show uh, there is uh, ah, um, there is something wrong yeah this should be shouldn't be under surface yeah uh, and and same here and this is wrong this should be normal strip 
Yeah, perfect. So we already have plot here. So as we say, x axis is like um, is index of each observation, and this is like a count of each observation. Uh, so and then we can see right uh, these predicted actual counts are quite close to each other. But as we well as we saw uh, here, um, so. Our score is like 45, it's not quite good, but it's still like fine, not so bad. Um, but like in the next video, I will um, just like construct a model with uh, deep learning models techniques. So what I would do, I will just like add few uh, hidden layers between independent, dependent variables. And let's see if that helps us uh, to improve the accuracy uh, of, of, of the model. Uh, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.